Okay, everybody, so we just, uh, what did we just do? We just bullied that chap on a submission. And we're going to go down the line here, and the next one we're going to do is this confidential document here. Um, there's a couple different ways to do with this, really. Um, one of the easiest ways would probably be to spin up a website crawler, right? And what a crawler is going to do is um, it's going to try to basically index every single page that it on the website it can find. So normally what you would do is it would... Uh, it would find links that are actually within the web app and add to them and crawl to them. Um, there's also an ability to say add a, a dictionary list of uh, known links to try, right? Um, it, but for our purposes, we don't really necessarily need this. But if you were interested in such things, uh, Burp Suite does do a, a crawl type function. Um, if we were to look in here and um, go to the dashboard, I'm sorry, the target, right? We could, um, as you interact with the website, it kind of builds a list. Um, one thing we could do is uh, passively scan this host. Um, in older versions of Burp, there would some, be something called literally spider a site, you know, and spider is essentially crawling. Uh, but uh, for our purposes, we're not going to really go through all that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to poke around a little bit, okay? So Overall, and again, I kind of know this, but when you're dealing with websites and, you know, like I said earlier, inspect elements, read everything on the website because sometimes it reveals things that it might not have attended to. So let's go to the About Us tab. Okay. And now that we have the About Us tab, um, you know, this is your basic About Us default um, lower up some page, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, Websites have this by default, but if we look here, there's this green text here. Um, usually, you know, it's standing out because it's probably some type of link. Uh, so if we highlight that link, um, we could kind of see in the bottom there uh, that says in the bottom left hand corner, if I move away from it, it's going to disappear. But in the bottom left hand corner, it says ftplegal.md. So let's click on this and see what happens. And it automatically wants to uh, pull this file from the site and we could save it. The other thing I could do, like we said earlier, let's right click, we'll inspect this element. And we could also see that um, within here, um, it's probably going to be in this main link here. Yeah, we see an href, meaning a, a link to something called ftp.legal. So just like we're in the about section right here, um, there's probably another page called ftp. Let's see if we can force directory browse to ftp. Okay, nothing there with that. Um, let's try it one more time. Let's put another little forward slash on there. Okay, so that doesn't seem to be working. Uh, the other thing I could try is maybe getting rid of the hashtag. Uh, I just probably looked at that href a little bit better. Let me just kind of try this out then. Oh, and look at that. So, yeah, it was actually um, at the home FTP. Um, and it looks like we have quarantine files. We have legal, which I think we already saw, right? Um, well, what could be considered confidential here, I guess, would be the next question. Uh, let's look at maybe acquisitions. Um, take a look at acquisitions. I'm gonna pull that over here. Oh yeah, there we go. Confidential document. Um, so, whoops. Looks like I closed out of my my juice. My juice. All right. Um, so we hit the FTP site. Uh, we clearly got that file. Uh, let's see if we could call this file directly in the web browser like we were calling the legal one. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. I didn't know I had this spell. And let's see if we could call that directly like we could have with the legal one. Oop, we didn't do that. Uh, did I spell acquisitions wrong? I did, I forgot an I. 
it happens. Plus, I'm only working on half vision here, everybody. So, boom. There we go. Oh, yeah, we're calling it directly again. Um, so hopefully we got that score. Let's see if the if it registered the score. Yeah, it did. Um, and it also, interestingly enough, um, hand it it prompted for another one. That we that error code that we did. Um, but we'll go over that again momentarily.